Hey everybody, here we are again, and it's a Woodridge Wherry. It's not in the taste test glass, it should be, um, but we are here to talk about it. Quick sip. Very nice. I do wherries all the time, but this one, following on from the uh, dodgy white powders, video. Uh, this is the wherry that I had in the video, but I didn't really do the, the taste test on it. Now, it had 100 grams of maltodextrin in it. It's also had a quarter of a teaspoon of PGA powder. That's I've looked it up, it's poly, uh, propylene glycol alginate is the chemical name for it, PGA, Pro propylene glycol alginate, it comes from a seaweed and it's an E number, it's added to lots of stuff for lots of purposes, generally to give stuff like in beer, head formation and retention. If you look at that, we've still got some very nice list on there. Yes, it's an E number, but if you're making beer, it's full of E numbers. Let me tell you, alcohol being the main one. Look it up. If you don't believe me, look it up. E numbers. So yeah, um, just about everything in beer, I think, is an E number. So, the natural, it's just a way of cataloguing things. E numbers have got a, a bad name, bad press, from some that are um, man-made, shall we say. And might be done, a bit like the, uh, the, the blue colouring in Smarties, made the kids go, Aah. well, maybe not that much, but made them all excited. Right, so, where was I? Yeah, so 100 grams of multidextrin, a quarter of a teaspoon of PGA powder. It started, gravity was 1050 at 18 degrees C. The finishing gra gravity was 1014 at 19 degrees C, which is for, for a wherry, it's normally about four degrees, uh, four points higher um, on both, I'd say. So 100 grams of multidextrin gives you about four points on your gravity. Come out at approximately 4.9%. That was it. Oh. Final gravity was at 19 degrees C. I don't know if I said that. Some other bollocks about that. Right, but. But that's it. So. It's a wherry kit. With multidextrin in it. I've done a couple of kits. I meant to put extra multidextrin in the second one. Didn't. Just put the same. So. That's going to be pointless. I'm not going to video that one. So yeah, should we smell it? Yeah, okay, let's let's give it a sniff. It has that yeah standard wherry smell. It's like a there's malt notes. There's a a slight. Earthiness, perhaps, or that might be the sandalwood wax on the moustache. You never know. A bit, um, bit pointless sniffing stuff when you've got a mm, sandalwood. That nearly went up the nose. Oh, it's, yeah, so it just smells like a, a wherry. It has 
got to say, the head does die down to slightly more than just a cap, I'd say, but the lacing hangs around for ages. So let's give it a flavour taste. It's very nice. It's nicer than standard wherry. Now, the wherry is an all malt kit that so comes with two cans of malt extracts for three kilos of malt. You don't add any sugars apart from maltodextrin. You don't have to add any sugars and you get a beer of about four and a half percent to five percent. I think it quotes 4.6 on the kit. I generally get about 4.9, which is a little bit on the high side for throwing it back like it's going out of fashion. 4.5 would be probably better, but I could add a little bit more water. I'm waffling. I'm going to stop waffling. I'm going to tell you what it tastes like. Now, I think I sold you a duffer on the white powders video. I think I said it doesn't add any flavour. Maltodextrin does add, it doesn't really add any sweetness. Let's just try that out. No. I once have said it added, adds any sweet, uh, sweetness. There's only 100 grams in. I might try a batch with 500 grams in, see what it's like. Ooh. Live dangerously. Um, yeah, so it doesn't really add any sweetness, but it does add a little bit of flavour. I think it said it didn't add any flavour. To taste it, it doesn't taste very much. Not like um, dry malt extract, which tastes like dry malt extract, that horlicksy, malty flavour. This does have an ever so slightly more malty flavour to it. That little titch, titch, little tinge perhaps of that horlicks flavour, you know, the malty multi flavour yeah it's not much but there is a little bit and I mean the mouthfeel on a standard wherry is pretty good anyway but that yeah it's like that is, that is good, that. That is very good. I'd say that beats a lot of the old grain brews that I've ever done. I mean, some of them were quite light brews, so it's going to beat it anyway because it's a darker beer and I like a darker beer but mouthfeel wise that is outstanding yeah it's um, a thick multi mouthfeel it might have unbalanced it slightly in the malt direction because I'm not getting as much of the fruitiness that the standard where he gets yeah it is still there but you've got this you've got to work to pick it out not a bad thing sometimes worries were a little bit too fruity 
a little bit too yeah it's also yeah it's knocked back some of the sweetness i'd said because there's a there's a fruity sweetness in a wherry normally and that doesn't really have it because you've got this malt flavor that's masking that slightly uh, let's have another No, that's still very nice. Oh, it's very good. I'm still... These additives are a little bit of a faff. The maltodextrin, yeah, I think I'm, uh, I think I'm a fan of that. I'll try adding more in. So all the brews that and, and, and all about, I'll eventually, because I don't think I've got any worry kits left, I'll order some and I'll try, what the hell, shall I try a big batch of uh, maltodextrin? Don't know, I'll see what I've got left, because currently it's unavailable on at the shop that I normally buy stuff from. I'll see if there's any more. If there's any more to come available again, I'll buy some more, I'll stick a whole bag in, 500 grams. Let's live dangerously and see what, it might way overbalance it. It might end up having to put hops in as well. And then, sorry, sorry not you, crossing my legs. Um, yeah, so I might try a, a 500 gram bag into a batch of standard wherry and see what it's like. So, yeah, maltodextrin, pretty good. The PGF powder, the more I use it, the better I'm getting at it, I think. I've used it five or six times and I was with I had a mini I had a mini whisk and I don't think that was doing the job really anyway I'll do a video on mixing maltodextrin and mixing PGA powder the PGA powder is a bit of a faff doesn't add anything to the flavour, adds a bit of lacing. Right, so like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.